On Friday night, May 11, 2012, I walked into the office of Mr. Diamond, with whom I had a close and respectful relationship. I told him of my decision to resign from J.P. Morgan. It was a devastating and very difficult decision for me. It marked the end of three decades of hard work at an institution I loved. We talked about the decision and how important I believed it was to let the company move forward with new leadership. I accepted responsibility for the events that happened on my watch in one of the portfolios in my division. My overwhelming sadness and concern was extended to the 400 people who worked for me, many for more than 20 years. It also went to my colleagues throughout the firm who are now leading the company going forward. There were many people from the front office, risk, finance, and quantitative research who worked on and analyzed the synthetic credit portfolio. In particular, I relied on the experts, Achilles Macris and Javier Martin Artajo, to vet and supervise trading in that book and elevate important concerns to me. Ultimately, my oversight of the synthetic credit book was undermined by two critical facts that I have come to learn only recently based on the company's public statements. First, the company's new VAR model was flawed and significantly understated the real risks in the book that were reported to me. And second, some members of the London team failed to value positions properly and in good faith. They minimized reported and projected losses, and hid from me important information regarding the true risks of the book. Throughout these events, I did what I tried to do all times during my career, face difficult issues with dignity and integrity. I had many months to think about long and hard about what happened. I don't have all the answers, but what I can tell you is that I always tried to do my best. I tried at all times to approach these issues presented to me thoroughly, thoughtfully, and transparently. Clearly, mistakes were made. The fact that these mistakes happened on my watch has been the most disappointing and painful part of my professional career.